to talk to me in Discord about the issue. Uh, let's see. You'd like to defend Royson. Whoa, what? Okay. Okay. Uh... Do you want to move over to the Olympus Discord? And then we can uh. just... Just do that. He did it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're moving him over to the uh, the officer chat right now, okay? Hey, what's up, man? You're muted. Yo, what's up? Not much, dude. How about you? Uh, I'm just running BRD right now, trying to get level 60. Cool. So, uh, you have a bit of a concern with the uh, issue that we've been having in here? I think people are uh, blowing it way out of proportion, honestly. Okay. So, uh, I mean, so I was in actually in the group, right? And uh, it was actually an Olympus guild run. It wasn't all... Ev everyone was not in Olympus 2. But uh, there was one person that wasn't in the guild run, and the BOE epic dropped, and he said all greed, and we all greeted, and then he needed. And my mindset at the time was I didn't even give a shit, dude. Like, I, I was there to get XP. Like, all, all right, so here, all right, if I'm going to be real, so when I first saw it drop, I was like, oh my god, a fucking BOE epic. I was like, oh shit. Like, I was really fucking excited. And then he did that, and for a brief moment in time, I was like, damn, like, that's a really depressing feeling. But, like, after continuing the run and, like, not really saying anything and just, like, letting it blow over, I was thinking about it. I was like, well, wait a second here. Like, when Classic first came out, right, my first goal was to make sure that I was a part of Olympus. And I remember the day that Classic came out, I actually went on my lunch break at work and went home just so I could get the queue going. So by the time I got home, I'd be in a position where I could play classic. And it wasn't until about two and a half hours later when I got home, I finally got to fucking log in. And that is when I got into Olympus 2. And I was fucking psyched. Anyway, so here's the thing, right? Royson is a officer or an officer of Olympus 2, right? So he obviously has a rank. And I think the one thing that people are forgetting here is that this guild is this is a, this is a very fucking valuable guild. I mean, what, the the reason that I'm in the guild is so I can get my chance to work my way up the ranks and get to a, a point where you know I'm playing with Asmin Gold on a personal level because like after watching your stream, like that's the goal that I've set for myself. Okay. <laughs> If, if um, we're in if we're in a position where we have these other guilds that are you know they're they're already set in place right they have officers they have people that obviously you have entrusted to lead this stuff and I feel like if he needed the item it would be good for the guild overall because the value of that item is being held within the guild right even if he did sell it here's the th or even if the intentions were ill and he had no intentions of sharing the gold with other guild members the way that i see it in terms of the guild is royson since he's an officer is more likely than one of us lower ranking guildies who have yet to prove ourselves in position royson has gotten to a point where he has proven himself and he's in a point where he's leading this stuff and I think that if he wants to make that deterrent, here's the thing, any one of us could have needed, right? I could have hit the need button right away, and I could have, and if, and if he wanted to kick me out, and kick me out of the guild, you know, maybe that's something well, that we can talk- why the hell you need well, wait, One second, one second. <laughs> so this is, uh, I feel like this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, can we go ahead and get five more people for a UBRS room, so I can get a, uh, the, the carapace, so I mean, five, five more people for me. Okay, uh, go ahead. I didn't need it because my I didn't want to risk getting kicked out of the guild and then having it not be or like having my chance of getting back in the guild not be a thing. I didn't I didn't want to risk a 400 gold item when we're talking about the longevity of me overall staying in the guild. And so I really didn't give a shit, man. Okay. Like he's the officer, he's in that position, so I just followed the fucking rank. Okay. And that like that's the thing. Like, I don't have. I'll probably. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. 
your defensive voicing was so bad that I actually think that you're secretly unhappy about it and you're trying to make them look worse. <laughs> no the, way, yes, dude. It was so bad. Dude, it's so dude, bad. I, I here's, here's, I, do, or, do you want me to break down and say why? All right. Okay, sure, so yeah. here's the main thing, right? Is that, number one, the idea of the gold going to the guild and going back into the guild and being helpful to the guild. I would agree with you if the item was redistributed to people that are in the guild, but Royson buying his epic mount for the guild does not necessarily help anybody unless you want to look at it from a transformative perspective of, oh, well, because he's going to then be able to use it for uh, world PvP, it's going to be good. Right? So, he, he, he see, you see there, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so number one, yeah. there's that. Uh, number two, on top of that, there's the issue with uh, you know the whole thing of wanting to be in the guild. I dislike the idea of being afraid of getting kicked out of the guild for not obeying a command that is fundamentally unfair, right? Don't you see? Like that's obviously if there's a reason why you want to be in the guild, right? And that uh... reason is probably something that, that transcends just me being in the guild. It has to be with, you know, the community, the amount of people that we're playing with, the events that we do together, and everything like that. So if if that... The way that I... I'm a very pragmatic person. I, I look at everything as to whether... Is this good for the guild? Is this helping the guild? And oftentimes, that's a hard decision to make. Especially with something like this. So, um... Oh, shit. Uh, what is this? Uh, give me a bit, guys. I, I, I'm gonna do this first, okay? And then I will craft the helmets. All right, I know there's like five Lionheart helms that I have to craft. I'm going to do that after this, okay? I, I want to just be able to focus on doing the UBRS thing, okay, guys? And then I'll be ready for the uh, the helmets. Okay, so um, I, I understand, like, obviously what your point is, right? But there's no part of the... Uh, there's no part of this that really... Like, not taking the item doesn't remove any of what you're saying from being the truth. Right, like these are like two separate events, right? So like him taking the right. event, uh, taking the item, and then you being part of the guild and raiding with the guild and everything like that. These are two completely separate things. Like they don't intersect with each other at all. They're like you know, imagine a Venn diagram, and the, the circles are completely separate. Uh, they're completely uh, you know divided. And I hope you can see where I'm coming from here. And I'm not saying that like were you in the group whenever it happened? Yeah, I was in the group. I okay. was raiding right there with him. Okay, so um. So you don't really think that he did anything particularly wrong? Um, I, I so, no, I, I didn't really look at it that way. Honestly, dude, like, that whole thing about me defending Royston, like, I completely fucking forgot about it until two days later when I logged in and Guild Chat was like, Oh, Royston's in trouble, Royston's in trouble, Reddit this, Reddit that. And I was just fucking pumped because I saw my name come up in the chat feed on the Reddit post. I was like, no fucking way, dude, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Uh, and and this is uh you are let me read here uh make sure uh Mephista, right yeah okay I want to make sure and uh, then so what about these other guys that were in the group did they talk to you or message you about it at all uh there was one guy who was not in the guild he just left and he never really PST'd me or anything What's like his name? that his name was Dude Chill. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's not on shit. Okay, well, hopefully he'll log on soon. Uh, he was a chill dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll add him to my uh, my friends list. Uh, I'll see if he uh, if he logs on, and I'll I'll get his take on it too. And uh, so, like, the the concern that I have, right, is that. The two rules that I... Royson mailed Chill Dude 100 gold for reparations. Cool. So, and also another person said Chill Dude is a friend of mine. He reported him because he felt scammed. Uh, so, there's like two separate things going on, right? Is 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 what what Royson did against TOS, I don't really feel like it's it doesn't matter, really. Uh, I think that really what matters is that you know, we had the guild rules, and, and like, uh, let me ask you something else while you're still here. Uh, in your, in your eyes, like, based off of your interpretation of, like, how the, how the guild works, um, what are the rules on ninja Uh, so, 
it, it really depends on the scope of what you consider ninja looting. Because, like, I feel like it's a part of the game, man. Like, the whole re So, like, here's the thing. Like, bl I, re I remember watching this one stream about how, like, when you die, your skeleton stays and Blizzard yeah. removed that because of hate speech or whatever. Like, I yeah. get stuff like that. But if you're in a position where you've created this world where things, good or bad, are designed to happen, you know, part of the game... You know, so I, I could understand if people are standing in Orgrimmar and going, Hey, you know, roll this and I give you this much gold and if you want you can double your... Like, I can see how that would be facilitating bad habits because yeah. you're talking about people buying gold with their real money and then moving it into the game and then, you know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I don't need to go into it. But when you're talking about an item that really has no value digitally, well, especially once you equip it. I mean, once you equip it, it's not even like you can sell, like, transfer it between other characters. You're kind of locking in that value. And at that point in time, I think it's okay to allow situations of unfairness to, you know, protrude. Because think about this, if, if everything was fucking fair, if everything was su supposed to be fucking perfect, then you would come back from well, TwitchCon and you'd probably have some... Right? And, and, and exactly. Like, yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. I, I agree with you halfway. Uh, I think where kind of our opinions diverge is basically whenever we... I, I agree with you that I think that the game should allow ninja looting, right? Ninja looting should be possible in the game. But, but, oh, but, yeah, but there's also the thing that I see about your side about how like you want to maintain the guild happiness because like there is that aspect of it People are going to get pissed, dude. Like, yeah, I, I if you, they're going to get if fucking pissed. Because like, you're, exactly. you're in the guild, right? Think about it like this. You're in the guild, you get in a group of the fucking people in your guild, you're supposed to be like, okay, well, now I'm part of this guild. This is one of the reasons why you want to be in a guild, is so you don't have to worry with about a bunch of dumb fucking bullshit like this. Then you have somebody need-rolling on the stuff from your own guild, then that's yeah. a problem. Uh, th exactly. That is a problem. And, and, like, so that that's the difference, right? I agree so, with you that Blizzard should not remove Master Loot from the game, and they shouldn't right. be overzealous in punishing uh, ninja looting problems, but I also agree that there's a certain degree where it becomes more important to make the guild uh, a priority. And I think yes, that that's, exactly. really, that, that's the issue. Exactly, because here's the thing, right? Because, like, what... If, 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 if it was the five of us, right, and yeah, the yeah. five of us ran, and no one gave a shit, and no one posted a Reddit post, then within the guild, that would be totally okay. But obviously, because now people have been the guild made it known that they have a problem with it now it becomes an issue well so like, i want to i want to make one thing also clear is like i i don't like i don't like a lot of the people on reddit you know and i think i've made that like very clear uh <laughs> and, and so like it, it does kind of annoy me that i kind of have to i feel like you know like logically i kind of have to take their side on something but it, it's like just by a matter of uh you know coincidence really and uh but I, I don't think, like, I don't want to also be reflexively, reflexively, like, against anything that Reddit ever says, because, you know, I want to, like, I don't know, fuck them over, or, you know, prove to myself, or, you know, do my own thing, or, you know, fuck them over, because, really, it might sound cool to, like, oh, well, I'm going to do whatever I want, I'm going to do the opposite of what Reddit wants, because fuck Reddit, right? But the issue, oh, yeah. right, is that whenever that happens, and it's my guild that doesn't like this and it's my guild that has the problem, then I'm basically issue. making a decision off of my own ego and not necessarily what my guild wants me to do. And as a leader of the guild, my goal is always, and I talked about this before in my other videos, right, is that, especially like guild leadership stuff, is that my, my, my priority is always to the people that entrusted me with the responsibility to uphold whatever I'm in charge of. Because it's all a volunteer army, right? I mean, they're all here by volition. That they all want to be in my guild for whatever reason, because they think that I'll uphold the guild in a reasonable, yeah. fair way. And right, so, right. if I'm making decisions that affect the entire guild, that are driven by my own ego or my own, uh, you know, like opinions or something like that, uh, I feel like there is going to be a huge disconnect there. And I think that's one of my big concerns here is that it kind of puts me in a weird spot because you know I do. I don't really think for myself, I don't have like a big ego, right? But like, I also don't want to be pushed around either. So I I feel like, oh man, I want, I really, really want to tell people, well, fuck you, I'm going to do what I want. But also at the same time, you know, my guild might care about this. And so 
I think that matters too. On like just a purely personal level, it has nothing to do with Reddit, right? right? This is not a, a Reddit thing. Uh, I would still be addressing this even if it had nothing to do with it. Right? If people in the guild were upset, or somebody from Quinn's guild was upset, we'd still have the same conversation. So, well, yeah, because that's still a lot of people that care. Like, we we need to like make sure that everyone is on the same page, so that way we can all grow together. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think that's the thing, right? Is that like we kind of did have the rule of not ninjuling from from guild mates, and here's what makes it more complicated: is that I've spent a lot of time with Will, Wait, and I've talked with him privately. Uh, you, you know, like he and I, like we probably spent quite a bit, like hundred hours playing the game together, probably more than that. So I I, I know Rosa, and. I, I know that he provides a value to the guild as a, as a raid leader and everything, which is why I'll probably sit down and talk with him and figure out kind of like where he's coming from and like what his thoughts on the subject are, right? Because if it was a random person, honestly, I would have just kicked them out of the guild, right? But like, I'm obviously giving him special treatment because he provides more value to the guild than just a random person does. And I also have like reason to believe that there's something more to it than that. And so uh, I, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm doing right. Because also another issue, right, is that people that want justice, for example, right, if you want justice for this situation, uh, that also could imply that you're maybe hurting people and taking their chances for getting a raid group together away from them. And how is that fair, right? And so, like, I would be indirectly responsible for that behavior instead because Royson is a raid leader in the guild, and there's no guarantee that I have that somebody else would step up and take his place. Right, right. So you, wait, you, so yeah. you, re you really think that you can't just replace Royson out of the thousands of people? Wait, honestly, that's no. probably a fair approach, because I've I, seen, I, like, I, some actually, of the... I, I don't. Like, the thing is, that I've... I've played this game for a long time, and... One thing that I've learned is that people that are willing uh. to actually get groups together and do things together. Uh, so if that's the case, yeah. then then so knowing that there's a, a guild uh, discrepancy, like people with the guild have a problem with it, I think moving forward, the guild should understand that it, you shouldn't need to feel like you don't have to meet on an epic when it arrives. But I don't think that you know Royson needing on this and even even getting his epic mount is that entirely bad because if he has his epic count and he does stay in the guild he's probably going to be doing some type of farming on the character in order to get no hold on nah. can we can we just can we just watch the video or have me explain what actually happened yeah. oh yeah because sure. Matt you're kind of kind of fucking me in the ass right now but um I appreciate you trying that okay <laughs> um <laughs> uh, okay I, That's I had a video talking, about this. Sorry, I just want to make sure everything is. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Alright, so I did an oopsie. Uh, I'm gonna come out and say, at first, I did an oopsie. I did try to ninja from Dude Chill. The guy is definitely not chill, contrary to what you might think. Um, I tried to hit him up. Apparently, his friend said I was friends with him for a very long time and that I ignored him and then blocked him. Um, I never had him at the B net, I never knew the guy. Um, and then immediately when I got the item, I planned to split it with four guildies. So for me, that was justified for at least our guild. Mm -hmm. And then, and then his friend made the Reddit post. Well, wait, oh, wait a minute. Dude. So, so you told. Well, why'd you tell everybody else in the in the the group to need roll on it? I mean, and then also, or sorry, to greed roll on it, and only you need on it. It was it was a test. For what? I gotta train people. Like they're not all gonna need on it. They're gonna get scammed. No, you're right. I mean, they're stupid for 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 agreed rolling on it. But like, also, if they're part of the guild, and it's like an officer tells you to do something, don't you feel like that's kind of a misuse of power because it's outside of like the normal expectations that people would go into and like just a normal like you're playing with like just your friends. And I think that the way that you right. conduct yourself and the level of trust that you're using and the level of discretion that you use in a pug is different than the level of discretion that you use in a uh, uh, in a guild group. Like, for example, in a guild group, I have no problem trading Paladini all of the fiery and lava cores for our runs because uh, yeah, I, I, I trust him. But if it's a random person, I would be making space and making sure that I got those for myself. Now, I think that's like kind of the difference in, in my mind. 
So you're yeah. saying that in a pug you would think that that you would say you're saying that that would be you know a move that it's okay to try out and if it works it works but you know in a guild situation you probably want to stay back from it well no i'm talking about two separate things uh so th what i'm talking about personally is that i'm talking about the idea of you know the level of trust that a reasonable person should have in a pug versus in a guild run so in a guild run i, I would be a lot more trustworthy and I would have like a higher degree of expectation of behavior from other people, right? I would okay, yeah. Go ahead. I do, I do, I will accept that. All right, I need to be punished, chat. I understand that. Relax. <laughs> I did try to send, I did try to send Quinn and the guy the money. I tried talking to them about it and saying, hey, sorry, I'll give you your 20% share of what the item was worth. And it hasn't even sold yet, so <laughs> if you guys want to buy the item, it's on the auction house right now. Um, <laughs> Yo. Math, come on, dude. You don't have to... Alright, anyway, so, I tried to get good with Quinn. I didn't, okay, I didn't know it was Quinn's guild. I swear to God. Yeah. I had no intention. I love Quinn. He's a fucking amazing Diablo 3 player. Like... Diablo 3? And then... Oh, you mean BFA? Sorry. B BFA player, yeah. So, I, I tried to make it good with him, right? He yeah. sent me the money back. He wants war with our guild now. So now I feel like I really need to be punished. And... I still want to be raid leader. I don't know, dude. Okay. So here's the thing. Is that I'm I I have no problem really with like see because like we had the rule and like you probably knew, like we had the rule like oh you can ninja for people that weren't in the guild, right? But like it was always against the rules to ninja from people that are in the guild. Like that's always been against the rules. Uh, just because you need to be able to trust the people that you're playing with, right? It's fine if we want to fuck everybody else on the server. I'm, I got no problem with that. But we've got to be boys with each other, right? If you're, if you're Olympus and you see somebody else in Olympus, you got to know that, like, that other dude has got your back. And it's like, whenever you have things like this happening, it, it, it kind of d devalues that trust to, to an extent, right? And, and so the way that I look at it, right, is, and so, so you basically are saying like, yeah, you thought it was a mistake, shouldn't have done it. You talked to Quinn, tried to make it right with Quinn. He sent the money back. He wants war. Uh, and, right. uh, and like, you didn't know it was Quinn's guild, right? And, and like, that's, that's reasonable. Uh, what, what I think that we should do now, and this is, in, in my opinion, uh, let, let Quinn in, in the Discord. Well, I don't know if Quinn's in the Discord. And um, I'll go ahead and just pull this guy here. Uh, let's see here. Straw poll? Well, we're not going to straw poll because a lot of people that are in the straw poll aren't in the guild. Uh, but so what do you think would be a fair punishment? Um... I don't know, banned from Reddit. <laughs> uh, that'd be a that'd be a reward. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm fine to let the chat decide, but let me just finish with: I never planned on putting my cock in O2's ass. Everyone in O2 is fine with me, except maybe like two people. I thought, I thought like I didn't... 200 people Gquail. Like, that's what people told me yesterday. Like, did that happen or like what? I mean, because I. Like, let me, let me get, let me get, like, somebody else in here, okay? Rayquaza, are you, are you okay with, if I, if I bring you in? So, I, I'm assuming he's watching the stream. Or if you guys can come in. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, how, how are people in Olympus 2 feeling about this situation? Um, we have a bit of a difference regarding, like, um, just the moderation in general. Uh, it's definitely something that's frowned upon, but oh no, we don't really, uh, Sorry, give me one sec. Uh, I prefer to talk about this like off stream. I don't really want to like, discuss it too much because there are some uh, personal stuff that filters into. Oh well, then that's not that's completely separate. I'm just talking about purely like the uh, the, the knee rolling thing. Oh um. Yeah, the rest of it is like whatever. Nobody really wants it. Uh, ultimately, it just falls down to him at the time. Oh, Again, yeah, I'll speak more of it later. Okay. Um, in regards to you asking, like, 20 people left, um, basically people unionized. <laughs> they said, okay, if he gets kicked in the guild, we all leave and join 01. So everyone left and joined 01.
Yeah. Um, suffice to say, they really <laughs> they won't be missed. So, is this in support of Royston or not? Um, I don't even I, mean, I, I I don't even know. Uh, uh, Royston, you kind of asked for jurisdiction over all of the raiders. What do you mean by jurisdiction? Uh, again, this filters into the moderation stuff I was hoping to discuss on the screen. Okay, well, okay, uh, we can do that then. Okay. Um, I would like to say something. Go ahead. I was there. My name is Leifer. And okay, well, wait one second. Uh, I just want to make sure that we, we clarify here. Leifer, uh, you were the one down there at the bottom who received the rune cloth. That's you? Uh, rune, rune cloth? I, I don't know about that. I'm talking about... I was at Royson's uh, ninja episode. Yes, He was there. He was I there. I was in the party. That's... Anyway. Yeah. So, yes, Royson told us all to hit greed. Yes, he hit need. But I must bring to attention Exhibit A. We're in Zolferak a week ago. It's me, Royson, a couple guild members, and a random rogue. A BOE epic drops. Royson, he's always streaming. He doesn't have much time to watch his stream. He didn't make it to the last officer meeting. I don't know what he had going on. Okay, but, I didn't either. You know, he's not with the up-to-date rules. And there's a big discussion amongst all the members of Olympus about what the rules actually are. Yeah. Half of the guild thinks it's the original rule. Yeah. Half of the guild thinks my, my it's bad the new rule. It's all good. There's a lot of us. What are you going to do, you know? So, we're in there, and then Zulfarak, and this epic drops, and Royston lets us all greed. And, uh, well, actually, everybody does it. And it goes to this rogue. And the rogue in question, he's not a part of the guild. And when you look at the damage charts, I'm sitting here, I'm doing big dick pulls. It's AOE farming. We're going in. I'm doing thousands of damage. So's Roy. So's the other mage there's. Skoral, he can vouch, he's there, he's an Olympus 1. This rogue, 400 damage per pull. This item, male. Male gear. It was an ice male jerkin, wasn't it? Okay, so it's really a blue, then. Essentially, yes. But Roy was very displeased to see it go to a random, not from the guild. And, especially one that is contributing absolutely nothing to the run, that I am alongside him carry and yeah. I've run with Roy a lot he cares about the guild he would have been happy to see it go to any of us so a couple weeks later I'm still playing the game with Roy leveling up his alt trying to get it ready for the raid and we're in this new run and it happens again and it's the same deal although dude chill he's at least on the charts so I won't say that it's completely justified in that way however I had faith in my boy Roy you know he's Never done me wrong before. I hit greed. And he admitted he's trying to ninja the guy, as you heard him say here today. But... This is a separate event? I'm talking about Dude Chill with the gloves today. Okay, yes. Okay. So the first time, he played by the rules. He played by the book. And we Olympians got fucked. Dry at that. Okay. <laughs> so, oh. this time, he goes in. He needs it. He takes it from the guy, yes, but he immediately thereafter vouches to pay each of us a percentage of the profit. Right there, in the moment, directly after. It. And before say, uh, I don't know, Roy, you gonna provide you some proof here, man? Come on, bro. Stand up for yourself. Well, whoever uh, who, who posted this? <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't need to stand. We've got this for him. <laughs> Wait, but you said that you still have the item on your own. Default has that moment clip that you're speaking of. Anyways, just in case, you know, I was a little upset. I didn't want it to go down this route of uh, me getting screwed out of a lot of money, potentially. And I know that Roy's never done me wrong, but I did tell him, you know, Roy, if, if you want me to uh, be in agreement with this, you've got to let me get a portion of that, too. And he honored that. He said he would. Now, the item hasn't sold. I've seen it. It's still there. So he hasn't gotten the money. That being said, his epic mount was purchased with his own money. What? 
Yes, he hasn't sold the gauntlets yet. They're in his bag. Nobody will buy it on the auction house. Oh, I wonder why, Reddit. Oh, shit. Because they're expensive. So, who the fuck's going to buy that piece of shit gloves? Like, true, Roy. Well, who yeah, the what fuck's going to buy that? Like, I mean, like, it sounds good. That, oh, yeah, well, we're going to buy this really thing. Good, yeah, they're, they're, they're really good. But anybody that takes it seriously is already playing a human, so who cares about the Edgemaster gauntlets? Like, I, I mean, let's be real. So, anybody that doesn't take it serious looks at the Edge Master Gauntlets and it's like, I suck. Why do I want sword skill? I've got that maxed out already. Right? I mean, they're dumbasses anyway. So, I. I, I... Okay, just continue. Well, Con continue. Okay, yeah. Continue. Go ahead. I mean, essentially, I just wanted to clarify how it went down. Now. Okay. He, he definitely said that. And the other thing I want to make across back to the fact that not everybody's clear on the rules. Back to the fact that Roy is always streaming on his own. He doesn't really have time to... Mm -hmm. I mean, what streamer has some other streamer on in the background while he's trying to stream? That's kind of weird. Why have YouTubers weird. on in the background? Uh, sorry. But anyway, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Roy, he's he's not really fully aware of the rules. And he did say, the rules say that we just can't ninja from our own. And then he vowed to give the profits evenly to us in the guild. And I can't speak for what happened to Dude Chill. And since the rules are changing, I know that that's not right. And yes, he should be compensated. But he was okay. not trying to yoink me. He is my brother. Okay, you know what I'm hearing here? You know what I'm hearing? What this basically boils down to is, number one, Reddit is already mad pretty much at Asmund, okay? Oh, Reddit fucking hates and me. Like, two, if this was in anybody else's guild, if it was, like, some other random guy in another guild, this would have never gotten, like, this has got 20, yeah, what, 15,000? You're 000. the victim, you're the victim, we get it, you're the victim. I know, I know, I just want to, I, I want to explain how much of the victim I am, though. Can you give me a minute? Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Just, like, like one minute. If you got this one is, minute. If there was anybody else, anybody else's guild in this, this would have never fucking happened, okay? But immediately, the only reason that the post got traction is because it was in my guild, and all the fucking posts were talking shit about me. That was it. A and that was the only reason. Like, I'm pretty sure half of them probably don't even care about their gloves to begin with. They were just like, oh, Asmin is somehow related to something else that went wrong? Boom. Fuck them. Rent free. Yeah, rent fucking free. ADS. You know, that's what it is. I can guarantee you that's how it would be. And uh, they're always looking for a reason to get pissed off about me. They fucking hate me. They, they they genuinely think that, like, if I had killed a dog, I think they would have been happier that I did that than take a, take money from my mount at level 40. I, I really think that if I, I, if I had to kill a person, they would have been happier about that than if I had taken gold for, uh, for my mount at level 40. I'm well, serious. Let's just go ahead and skip to the part where you say you could cure cancer and they'd be unhappy with their stomach. That's true. Very good point, McConnell. Very good point. Very true. Anyway, Extremely true. What I was going to say is, so since Red is already mad at Asmin, and the second issue is that people were confused on the rules anyway, on what whether they could or could not ninja... Either way, yep. that is Asmund's fault for not clarifying, okay? For not doing a better job I clarifying I thought I was supposed to be the victim here. Yeah, well, you're not anymore, okay? <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is going on? Ass so, number one, Reddit's mad at Asmund. Number two, this is Asmund's fault because he didn't clarify the rules. Number two, Roy is just looking out for number one, okay? He's Roy. He's going to do what he's going to do. If Roy agrees to hand out the goal to the other group members... Okay, so they all get their share. Then I think the issue settled. Asmund takes the full uh, blame of the whole issue. I would have even if getting, I didn't. He's already getting the hate. Okay, and Roy gets off Scott. I Reeves am the main tank Asmund. of the guild. What can I say? Yeah. There you go. So the issue settled. Roy, go. Out, you know, you 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 uh, don't do it again. And uh, everybody can blame and continue to hate Asmund for everything ever. And that's it. So, okay. So l l let's okay, that that is that that's a that's a good part, good good stance of it, okay. Um l let me what who I really want to talk to is Quinn able to come in and discuss this? Cuz he Who's that? Say what? Who's that? Who's Quinn? Yeah, I'm sorry. I never heard I think your mic is broke, boys. 
Uh, that he's a streamer. All right, my bad. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's the guild master of seven. So if you look at the screenshot here, by uh, deducing logic, if you look at this right here, you can see there are five individuals in the group. Royson, uh, Mephista, Anthem Gold, dumb fucking name, and uh, let's see, who's the other one? Uh, Great, Leifer, the and then also Dude Chill. Now, whenever it says you have selected Greed, Leifer selected Greed, so it couldn't be Leifer that posted a screenshot, Royson selected Need, it couldn't be Royson that posted a screenshot, Mephista selected Greed, couldn't have been Mephista that posted a screenshot, Anthem selected Need, couldn't have been Anthem that selected a screenshot, so you selected Need had to be Dude Chill. So Dude Chill was the person that had the problem with it. Yeah. So, he did leave immediately right after. Yeah, that's probably because he had a problem, he's not happy about it. Yo, one other thing. The Reddit post, the guy that made the post said that he's Dude Chill's friend. And his name is the same name as another popular website. And I went and I looked. This man's on Horde. The man who made the post is from the Horde. How do you know? There's no, no he's the Lance. He, he mailed me a bunch of arrows one by one and well, filled up my mailbox, dude. You're right. I guess you shouldn't believe everything you see on Reddit. But if you look in the comments, I saw some <laughs> evidence. So, dude, when did do? So he mailed you arrows one by one. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. How many? The, the guy's super mad. He ignored me before I could even respond to him, and then mailed me a bunch of stuff like plate leather and shit. One. Jesus Christ. That's true. I saw it on stream. He's pretty mad. Jesus. Okay. The the issue right now though is Quinn. We need to make it right with Quinn. I tried to send him a hundred gold. He said I don't want your ninja money, and he said. We want the gloves and justice. I think what McConnell said should just happen, though, honestly. And Quinn should just take the money. Okay. Yeah, take the money and cool. shut up, Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have well, one. We already I tried really that with go, the ingots guys. before. It didn't work. May I please just say, what? whatever you decide on the rule, put it somewhere written down for everybody to see publicly so we can get this straightened out. And Roy, try to pay a little more attention to the rules, dog. I gotta go, guys. It was nice. Have a nice day. Yeah, see you, you too, man. Thanks for the outro, buddy. <laughs> okay. 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 So... Is there a way that we can get in contact with Quinn and talk to him about this situation? Yes, he's in he's chat. In he's chat. Chatting. Let me in no. there. Let me in there. Let's Wait, get him in here. He's not. Yeah, you guys yes, need to. He you is. Need... I know you Yo, don't read your hold, chat, but I do. Hold him back, though, dude. When he gets in here, my hands are gonna be shaking. Let me see if he's actually if he's saying that. Oh shit! I wouldn't lie to you. Oh shit! I Royson would, but... must pay. Oh god. Oh jeez. We demand justice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Quinn. Fake news. Royson paid him off. Royson paid him off with his ninja money. Fake news. Let me in there. This means war. <laughs> Who cares? It was already war. You're already pissed off that Eric tried to sell us the ingots. You're just crying all over the place, Quinn. Okay, all right, all right. Bring, bring me. Let's let, let, sort out this situation. <laughs> we, we, we gotta, figure, we gotta get the bomb of this. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a second. Yeah. Speaking of getting to yeah. the bottom of things, can we get the, uh, to the bottom of when you're gonna do the uh, Herald of the Titans run? It was promised last week before Classic. Uh, yeah, in about five or six years, whenever they introduced Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, sir. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, listen, dude, I, I will do it whenever we go back to retail. You promised! Yeah, I promise a lot of things. And uh, it, it's like, th there are promises and there are kind of just like things that might happen. Right? And for me, they're the same thing. Like, let's be real. Sometimes, sometimes they just don't really follow through. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Of course. There will be blood. Listen, dude. Uh, I... I We'll see what happens, okay? We'll get Quinn in, and we'll figure it out. Going war in the same faction? Uh, you can. It's called the Devil Storm Mafia. So, 
here's here's one thing, and I, McConnell, I, I hate this. I really, really, really fucking hate this, but I'm going to have to unfortunately agree with you. Yeah! It is Hell kind yeah. of... It is kind of my responsibility to communicate the rules clearly to everybody who's in the guild. That is something that I clearly did not do. And because I did not do that, uh, people, uh, th there's this trouble. There's this communication issue that we have. No, oh, dude, I'm sick and tired of you taking the blame for everything. Like, I Roy. didn't have your stream on. I didn't, I didn't check Roy. it. It's my Roy. bad. Trial by combat. Roy. Trial by combat. Trial by Roy, combat. He's, Roy Sin. If he's, I really think you should let him take the blame for this, dude. <laughs> I'll Trial get a slight combat. punishment, a slap on the cheek, and then you we'll get, you good. get nothing this way. You don't have to. You know, you get nothing this way. All you have to do is get the gold away back, or give the gold back. You know, just let him take already, the blame. A lot of the Fucking, guild masters are not. Paid. You don't have to step up or anything. Like, there's nothing you, you need to. Have you seen chat? Ninety percent of people on Reddit Who and cares? the chat hate me. You. It doesn't matter. They. This. It's the same thing for me. Nothing happens. Nothing in my life changes because chat likes or hates me, or Reddit likes or hates me. Nothing fucking happens, dude. Trust they call me. me. Just they call me horse face in chat, dude. I can relate. Boys. People have called me that plenty of times, Royce, and that might be hard to believe because I'm so handsome. Well, let's... Alright, so... There's a video you made about this, Royce, right? Yeah, can you just watch the video? Okay. The ending is good. This is the apology to Reddit. Yeah, I'm sorry, Reddit. Let's just watch, guys. I want to make it right with them. Good morning, Vietnam! Hey. Hey, Reddit. It's nice... It's nice to see you, Reddit. It looks like you haven't changed much... ...since the last hate thread. So I'll just make this quick. Um... Thank you, first of all. Uh, for supporting my stream so much, uh, we we broke our sub goal by times five today. Uh, just crazy, crazy support. I appreciate it all, man. I, I really do. Um, the other fifty or a hundred people that came in just to make make fun of me and and say I look like a horse and that I have a really big nose. I don't appreciate that, but you know, it's Reddit, right? Like. I ninja a, a 400 gold item. So you you're totally in your right mind to come in and berate everyone in my stream and my yep. wife and me. Absolutely. And uh, say that we look ugly. Yes. Over a 400 gold item. That, yes. Hundred percent. Like I deserve it. Don't get me wrong. Big true. Um, with that said, I'm just I'm very tired of re-explaining what actually happened. So I'm just gonna do it here on on a video. Okay. Um. Four of the members were Olympus Two. One of them was from Seven Quinn's Guild, which I figured out later. Um, I didn't actually know the guy at all. He was just a mage that someone else wanted to invite, so I invited him for a DPS. Um, didn't have him on Battle.net. I didn't ignore him. I didn't remove him from Battle.net. None of that actually happened. Um, actually, quite the opposite. I messaged him um, twice, and I asked him if I really knew him and where, where we played mm -hmm. it on retail. Uh, if we did. So this, I'll uh, pause for a second. This dude, chill guy. Did you know this fucking guy or not? I No, I didn't. Someone else wanted to invite him. So I was like, yeah, I need a mage for okay. a week. Okay. He ignored me. And then his friend. Oh, I invited him. My bad. That made the Reddit post. Ignored me as well. And then um, sent me a bunch of like arrows one by one. So it would fill up my mailbox. It was, it was very cute, honestly. Um. So I just want to clear that up. Um, yes, I told them to, to roll greed, and then I rolled need. Um, perhaps that was an oopsie in hindsight, and um, obviously a, a cock thing to do. But <laughs> I don't really regret it. I, I've sent Quinn a hundred gold because I didn't want to start any shit with him and his guild and have like a war with him. So I sent them some money. 
um, about 20% of the, the cost of the gloves. And then when it does sell, it's still in the auction house right now. Right here. This is the bad boy right here. Uh, legendary item. When it does sell, I'm going to split the other 300 with the other guildies. Okay. And, um, yeah. I guess that's it. It's actually very simple. It's very simple what happened. I, I ninja looted it. I was going to split it with my four guildies and just uh, sell them. And then they uh, they made a Reddit post about me and it got 15k upvotes. And then things got a little weird. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know. Um, yeah. Thanks, Reddit. Wait, watch the end. <laughs> hey, what's up, Reddit? Here we go. You're fucking mad, bitch. Just got my epic fucking mouth today. You still mad? <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah. You okay, dude. Me? You still fucking mad? <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be you, honest, bitch. dude. Fuck you, Reddit. You're gonna be Oh my god, dude. That's fucking funny, man. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Okay. But nah, nah. You, you gotta get removed. You gotta get kicked out of the guild for sure. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Alright. First thing is, Stay Safe apparently made a comment about this. Yeah, and I we'll we'll, we'll look at his comment real quick because obviously is another one of the uh, the guild masters of our upstanding server, Feralina. I think that his take on the subject is very relevant to uh, to the conversation. So we'll we'll look at that, and we are waiting to get Quinn in, right? I don't think he's in yet, but uh, whenever he gets in, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll do that. Okay. Hey, uh, speaking Ninja of looting and guild masters, I had a little idea I wanted to pitch. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about taxing guild members for, like, attendance for guild activities? Uh, what do you mean? Unstated guild activities. Um, I don't want to say embezzlement or anything. Okay. Uh, well, how would you be taxing them? What would you be for taxing them for? Code. Um, management, essentially. Uh, yeah, just an idea. I, I mean, like... Here's what I think you should do instead. And it's like there there are soft taxes and hard taxes. And a soft tax is basically utilizing their their participation for your own benefit and a hard right. tax is asking for money. So what I would do personally is I would try to get them to assist you in doing different runs and stuff and then okay. uh basically prioritize yourself for the items let them know of course ahead of time Roy and uh then it would be okay. <laughs> so that way uh you can still monetize uh their participation in the guild while at the same time not necessarily having them have to do anything really. Right, and that, that that in my opinion, I think that's the smartest way to handle. It. I do it in retail all the time; it works really well. I do it with people that aren't even in the guild. All right, 